and welcome back to this. Uh, gonna be calling it Homestuck Halves from now on because it's the half episodes, just so I have something to call this like side series thing. So welcome back to Homestuck Halves. Fan fiction fuckery. Homestuck Halves colon fan fiction fuckery. It's the subtitle. We got yeah. Arthur, June, and Mason here today. E. Hi. So, yes. Oh. Were you stretching this time as well? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I was doing jack shit. I literally, I struck a pose and then remembered that, oh yeah, no one can fucking see me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, I, I would do that sort of thing as well. <laughs> I am genuinely so cringe. It's like, how during, it's like how during COVID, do, do, uh, do when do I would be wearing a mask. what we're all doing here today. We're all at least a little bit cringe. Kind of that's, cringe, bro. That's the reason we're friends. Du during uh, during COVID, well, whenever I, I, I would wear a mask. You, I think you heard, didn't hear the last part where I said, I'm so cringe, but I'm free. Uh, ah, that's true. That's true. We are all I would, free as well. I would be going around wearing a mask, and then I would like catch somebody's eye. And whenever I catch someone's eye, I always smile. But because I'm wearing a mask, they don't see the smile, so they just see me staring at them. So you just sort of... <laughs> <laughs> So in, in so my head, I'm like, like, oh, hey, how's it going? But in me, their like, head, it's just like... Orange stairs. <laughs> I look like Did Ninja Brian. break out of somewhere? <laughs> Hannibal oh, Lecter, is that you? Police. Me mewing at the police officers. <laughs> <laughs> Reaching for the officer's unregistered elk skull. <laughs> me when I reach for the, pol for the policeman's unregistered firearm. Oh, bloody hell, mate. You got a license for that. You got no. a license for head. Got a license can, you pres can you present your license? Oh, what are you registered? reaching for? Bang. <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> be whipping out my wallet at the lightning cops speed, catch 22. saying to the officer, I didn't want to have to do this to let him know that I am in a rush. Yeah. <laughs> or saying, don't be a hero to let him know, I appreciate the police officer. Or saying this will be over quickly to let them know I don't want to take up too much of their time. <laughs> Wait, I can put my camera on, can't I? True, but I don't think anyone's going to be recording it, so... He's I'll just look. left. He's just walked off. Oh, he's back. Oh, he didn't want to have to do this. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. And oh no one God, saw it. It's him. I mean, no I saw it. No one in the it, audience but... saw okay. any of it. <laughs> that, is oh, okay. only... the... that is a joke for That is a joke for only second. the four of us. Exactly. Sometimes yeah, you just, I, all... Arthur, I don't know, I, did I don't know, make a already. shitty Emma's Paint recreation. Yeah, I know, but like this is like it. before we've talked about the things, so that like this will True. get chopped okay. and changed. <laughs> I mean, maybe, or I'll be lazy and keep literally all of it with no breaks. Anyway, <laughs> so. A uh, recap. Uh, let's let's quickly recap because it's been a good while. It's yeah, been a good while, and I didn't watch and, the original video. <laughs> and Mason has seen none I, of it. I, so. I intended to, but I had other stuff to do. Got lost. So, what do we remember about our about our characters from last time? And then I will update people on what has been changed since then. Although for uh, for Xander Shade, you can you can see uh, quite a bit of what's been changed already because it's literally on screen actually no it, it won't be yet it won't be yet for you the uh -huh. audience you will just be seeing uh, funny colors so what, what do we remember from last time you'll be seeing better call Saul <laughs> I love the silence I love the silence this is great content guys. that's, that's, Arthur, a, that's, June, a, that's a good what moment do you remember to, from last that's a good moment time. to insert the theme uh, fuck uh Arthur Almost tried to give my character a blood disease. That's not... <laughs> that wasn't a blood disease. It was a blood pressure disease. Just blood shikaneous. disease in, implies it's like leukemia. It was like <laughs> hypertension, mega hypertension, and it wasn't just a disease. A, a disease. It was like engine heart. So it was like mega strong, but also explosion brain. Or eyes or whatever. <laughs> Explosion. You, just put, you said high plus pressure, spoiler. and that's it. 
Quick I did not. spoiler, I said everyone. The We've removed the hypertension. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said I was, I just didn't. Those were the words you I used did. to describe it. Did you? I can tell you for Because I don't remember know. that. I believe the original thing was y that <laughs> Julian would be able to shoot her blood like a f like one of those fucking lizards that can just spray <laughs> blood from their eyes. No, I said that more. Uh... That was the original concept, and then I just put uh, blood pressure disorder as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just oh left it. Oh my god. Uh, this, was we a, just left this, this was a slightly longer conversation, but yeah, fair enough. I, I love how, I love how this is all we've said that we remember. Like, is there anything else? I don't uh, remember all of it, but I don't want to go over all of it. Uh, oh, characters, basic, stories, basic the sun. My guy Some basic <laughs> points of summary. Arthur worships the sun. That's yeah. all we yeah. need to know. Taste and he the flies sun. around like fucking Omni Man. And he flies around like fucking Omni Man. Uh, what's his name? The noble uh, manipulates. You gotta think what's his name? Yeah, gotta think oh, he's me, named man. after me, uh, Arthur, to uh, be his like, basically, mm. uh, shadow government murder mega assassin terrorist uh, on yep. puppet strings by pretending to be the sun, because Arthur worships the sun because he's probably quite mentally uh, devolved after like some kind of event, mm. and then. Uh, things happen and they get into my life is like a video game called Spurb and that when that happens they will f uh, this thing about the sun and Nemuno will be revealed and then Arthur will be all sad and go to the devil uh, or, or what are they called the void people the uh, deep people. ones it's me the, the deep devil ones. the deep ones from Call of Cthulhu anyway yeah um, <clears throat> and then after they do that, they will be like, cool, uh, and then they will they will team up with Julin and Xander, question mark? Yep. I mean, yep. why is Xander yeah. the one on you're screen. putting in His name's on screen, man! <laughs> yeah, but I, like, I'm, I'm remembering things, so I'm not reading. Okay, fair, uh, fair. Xander, yeah. Yep, that's the one. Uh, and they team up and they kill... Nemana and then Nemana goes God tier and then Nemana will help Arthur get away from the void people by killing him to well no by explaining that he needs to die to break the contract and but in order to survive he can go God tier and then the both of them are God tier and then mm. there will be some stuff to do with Xander and Julin that haven't yes. been yeah we didn't we didn't cover much of Xander out. and Julin last time but that's about <clears throat> most of last time very much was the the arthur and neiman a special it was the hope boy special <laughs> love uh, to hope me when hope something <clears throat> something something dang and her reference anyway oh, I was so, oh no i was thinking under tell for whatever reason. <laughs> that really was just like, what do you get for number three? I got, I got 16. I got 9.12. I got Abraham Lincoln. For some reason. <laughs> I answered C on a true or false quiz. Yeah. <laughs> All of the above. Uh, I know anyway. right. <laughs> so. <laughs> just put I know right for every answer. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? F, you are not right. See me after class. <laughs> so, as you can see on screen now, I have edited the document uh, with the light green text being basically all of the edited stuff. Just so you can see what e. has changed. E. Uh, but first, let's scroll down a little and see... The completely new premise for Xander's uh, personality. I changed it entirely off of, based off of a comment by Sushi, which I looked at and went, actually, no, that is significantly more interesting than what we went with. So, instead of being uh, an angry again, shout out and to sushi. Sa shout out Sushi every time, <laughs> instead of being a pissed off and unwilling single father, Xander is now a happy and very willing single father trying to actually care for the Wigglers under his cavern roof. 
who uh, joins Arthur and Julian to take revenge on the society that would have left most of those Wigglers to just fucking die. He's not the best father in the world, and some of the Wigglers he cares for do die, but considering he's the literal only Altonian father in history, he's not doing a terrible job. Um, when the game starts, about oh, one-tenth of them... Father. About one-tenth of those Wigglers enter the game with Xander, uh forced to deal with the dangerous world of the session with him. And the other nine-tenths cannot fit within the um, teleport radius and are left behind to die. Uh, and Xander, Xander is fully aware of this fact. And if he didn't enter or didn't try and do... didn't leave ni nine-tenths of his fucking children to die, all of them would have died in in, along with him. Hashtag Wiggler Wednesday. <laughs> Hashtag Children. in memory of the hundreds of infants that died. <laughs> just make just make sure you don't make a typo. Your move, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Wait, is the is the it. is the Mario Wiggler spelled different? No, this is this is in reference to something that Nintendo posted a while ago. Uh, they posted a oh. picture of uh, Waluigi and Wiggler, and they said, uh, type Y for Waluigi Wednesday and type a flower for Wiggler Wednesday, but they forgot the L in Wiggler. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Yeah, no, that's real. Nintendo, can, do you want to okay. uh, answer that? Anyway. Nintendo. So <laughs> I've also uh, changed his typing oh, work because the original one was a bit shit. It was just making it false quotations. Um, so instead, I took a bit of influence from the trolls from the main series. Uh, every emoticon thing uh, includes his third eye. Um, it doesn't have to be on the correct side of his face. It just has to be a third eye. Um, every V is doubled, every I is tripled, and doesn't bother typing with any capitalization and very rare punctuation. I say rare and not no, so that we don't have situations like we have with Dave, where we have to consider, okay, has his sentence ended and he started a new one, or is this just a run-on sentence? <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that about David. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. David Strider. No That's punctuation. You don't want to be Strider. Ever. <laughs> so great. I love it that. Will, it will never be legible. Anyway, uh, it's still a dex. All I've done here is I've explained what Tetris Modus is. He has to complete lines in Tetris to access capture locked items. Did this because I'm shit at Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Is a I don't know anyone who's good at Tetris. He just carries I around like I can do he Tetris. carries around like a um a walking stick, not because he needs it to walk, but because it's a long piece in Tetris. Oh no no wait. Actually the Tetris pieces should not be related to what the thing looks no, like. No, they're not. In real that life. was not in any way <laughs> the intention. It's just like he can get one item out of his Silidex if he completes a if he completes a line in Tetris. Is it at random? He should he totally multiple carry items. around like um, he should totally carry around like a something really cumbersome and annoying, but he knows it's like a line piece. Like a Oh, oh my yeah. god, like a like like a, like a piece of like uh piping, but it's like one of the three way connectors. Yeah. No, like and it's like a big bit as well. Like he has to like have it strapped to his back. Like the T block. Yeah. And it's a fucking L block uh, in L block. Tetris, and he's like, oh my yeah. god, kill But me. of course, if he doesn't have enough objects to complete a full line in Tetris, well, he just he just has two items stuck in his inventory with no way out unless he, like, capture logs a rock. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Each, each item is related to a piece in Tetris, I guess, and... When he completes a line, all of the line, all of the pieces that are completely removed can come out of his inventory. If even one block of them is left, that's still in there. He has to complete a line with that singular block in there. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. 
Perfect, we've made it even more frustrating, and thus better as a Silidex. <laughs> uh, Lussus, Giant Sleep, Three-Eyed Cat, I've really just specified some stuff to make it more distinct from Julin's, which is also a cat. Uh, and I've changed a few oh, yeah, of the powers. Is. And I've changed <laughs> a few of the powers. Uh, one, uh, Xander's Mimicry, I've now specified that Xander's versions of moves will always be weaker than the original, but he can copy a wide variety of moves, and possibly adapt them slightly if he gets good enough at using that other that other ability which basically means that xander is very much like his powers won't be as strong but he's incredibly versatile you know he's very so much the all-rounder he's very much the all-rounder of the group if if one were he's to Mega Man. Yeah, kind of. oh yeah Me no Me mega man i think is a more is better um Way of putting it because let's be Xander real, Man. Kirby, Kirby's Kirby's powers are typically more powerful than the enemies that he copies yeah. them from. Kirby, as we uh, all know, yeah, Kirby is point. overpowered. Kirby is a yeah. fucking god. So. Patty cake with gods. God, I remember space. getting into an argument with this guy about uh, because he was like, "Oh, Doom Guy could easily kill Kirby." I'm like, "Nah." <laughs> No, he couldn't. No, probably not. No, he couldn't. Unfortunately, no, he it, like it's like Kirby he has like the BFG, BFG and could Kirby easily like instantly kill, and I'm like Kirby. Actually, and I'm like Kirby literally survived like Kirby, and Kirby would eat it and just fire it back ten times as power. No, legit, I said that. He's like, no, he couldn't, and it's like, okay, okay, meat sack. Okay, boomer. <laughs> okay, boomer shoots. No, out. he would totally lose. He would lose. He looks Just huge, mean. therefore he loses. Ah, big, he loses. tough, uh, strong man always Anyway, I replaced Xander's desperation ability because it just didn't work with not mad, just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Dad energy. Oh, Xander can instill no. a deep sense of sadness in people through his disapproval of their actions. Only works on people tethered to some form of reality. So not Arthur or Nemina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Arthur but, is trying to be you. disappointed in Arthur and he's like, uh... uh. No, the sun! <laughs> uh, and then post-god tier ability. The sun! Rage-based rage -based energy attacks. Um, the, mm. His eye beams turn purple when powering them up with rage. Then it can also perform other energy attacks, which can take on a variety of different forms, being more similar to fire attacks, ice attacks, lightning attacks, shockwave uh, attacks, poison uh, attacks. Uh, uh, thus, play, thus playing uh, into his uh, mimicry ability, allowing him to copy a much wider range of abilities. Fuck off, Windows thing, vibe support, whatever. <laughs> Fucking stupid VR bollocks. Uh... Then we've got Rage Fuel. Uh, Xander can use Rage as a substitute for other power sources and energy types in abilities he mimics. For example, Psionic Attacks, he can mimic them using his Rage. Anti-Magic, through disbelief in the power of his opponents, Xander can cancel out their power, or at least weaken it. Depending on how hard he disbelieves, this effect may only affect abilities targeting Xander, or... It may be a completely universal effect where he's just like, ah, you're piss weak. I, I don't believe you can do that. And, and the enemy just can't <laughs> do that anymore. Uh, and then Limitless. Xander can push through his limits by simply not believing he has them. This can cause some <laughs> recoil damage, but Xander's rage powers can reduce that. You know, it's kind of like uh, Nemina's sun form, but a much to a much weaker, but also a much safer extent. That was reasonable. Next. Also, um, uh, troll tag, minding selector. Boom. Next. <laughs> we have Julin. Julin's new, Julin, we've given all of them troll tags. Julin's troll tag, lesbian apocrypha. That makes sense. Uh, Do you have, <laughs> did, uh, did, I was what I was waiting for June to say something about it, but I guess she won't. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, typing quirk. It's... I've just given an example. Uh, Silidex, dealer yeah. modes. <laughs> I love playing cards. <laughs> yeah, Julian Silidex is limited to fifty-two <laughs> cards, only seven of which Julian can access at a time. This includes uh, blank cards. I love cards. my words, fail me. 
Julian can press a button on the back of her motors to real redeal the cards, causing her seven current cards to be put back in the deck, the deck is shuffled, and seven cards are passed out to her again. This can be the seven same cut the same seven cards if Julian is very unlucky. <laughs> mm. uh, <clears throat> so Julian might just be like Reshuffle, reshuffle, reshuffle. God damn it, reshuffle, please. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Please! Do it again, do it again. Please! I beg you! Motor stuck! Motor stuck! Stuck! We're dead! Stop giving me the fucking cheese! <laughs> Give me the cheese. Uh, Alyssus is a large, strange, fluffy cat. <laughs> as specified by uh... Jim. I like fluffy cats. <laughs> yeah, fluffy cats. They are good. Yeah. They are good. I, I, I love abilities. fluffy cats. Julian's abilities. One, emotional influence aura. Julian can severely influence the emotional state of a large number of people around her, as well as making some immune to those effects. Typically used to cause terror and panic in Julian's target opponents. Uh, high acrobatics. Julian is a very skilled acrobat, capable of skilled backflips, rolls, and even double jumping. Nice! Because trans girls double can jump. double jump, guys, definitely. If you're this a trans girl, no, no, double no. jump. This is just well-known knowledge. This is just well-known. All those, all those estrogens in the water. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, it, it, trans girls can double jump, and trans masked can air dash. Mm. That makes sense. That's balanced, this, actually. That's, this is that's really cool. This is I'll balanced. take that. I'll take. That. And says so people can't do can't do anything special because. That's <laughs> oh well. That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> nah, real. <laughs> anyway, three drama queen, very convincing actor and liar, particularly when being overly dramatic. Effectively, the more over the top oh, she goes, serious. the more convincing she gets. <laughs> uh... Uh, and, uh, for fourth wall knowledge, Julian knows about Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man. This knowledge does not <laughs> extend beyond like those two series. <laughs> it is she literally can't just, the fourth wall I've read She's the manga. Like Deadpool. She just knows, she just knows what Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man are, and knows events. Uh, my two favorite series of making me suffer. Okay, uh, got two abilities, in-game abilities, uh, photo form, Julian can transform herself along with anything she's carrying into light. Uh, two, domino effect, Julian can utilize the butterfly effect to create drastically unlikely and advantageous outcomes from seemingly meaningless actions. If miscalculated or misinformed, however, results can be disastrous. Uh, three, importance alteration. Julian can make a Galea Faith. Now, this was supposed to be a joke that Amin would understand. Amin is oh, not here. Oh, yeah, no, I remember now. <laughs> this I was like, what is Galea here? <laughs> a Galea Faith is basically an, uh, a character who, by all rights, should have been a completely unimportant note in the story, or at the very least, a minor background character. However, uh, his inf his importance to the story has been inflated massively by ver by various people just going no 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 we're putting him on the front lines because I think he'll be I think he'll be great and then he dies instantly and is resurrected <laughs> over and over again the dying and resurrection part not necessary exactly but it's very much just take. No, random, incredibly necessary. Random part. Incredibly random, necessary. Random NPC. Incredibly necessary. Random NPC, turn him into basically like a pseudo main character. And four, blatantly important. Other people get a sense that Julian is of great importance, which Julian can make stronger or weaker at will. So basically and, bluff. <laughs> yep. I bluff that I seem important. Yep. But you don't even need to speak to do it. Mm. Of course, speaking will make it a lot easier, but... Okay. Yeah, and important information. Obviously. Mostly just, Mostly just fucking around. Funky Gremlin. Uh, yeah, met Arthur after he decided her mind-influencing powers were like the sun. Work, now works for Nemo, committing atrocities. Sense. Yeah, 
committing atrocities against the Altonian populace with Arthur and Xander. Invented the word lesbian. Oh, terrorism. <laughs> Julian is very obsessive over his girlfriends and would kill anyone to protect them. Julian absolutely hates the quadrant vacillation done between her girlfriends, but cannot bring herself to complain. Is this a terrorism harem anime? I think you mean harrorism. <laughs> I mean, it is if you only look at Julian. It is if you only look I, at Julian. Uh, yeah. It kind I mean, of if you only like look that. at her. She's a, she's a bit loco. Yeah, she she is a She's a bit Delulu. Yep. Okay, next. Just a little bit. Definitely just Arthur a Pendra. little bit. I don't know what you're talking about. It's me. Mm. Next, Arthur Pendra. Uh, Trotag, ordinate son. I, I think a few months ago at this point when we came up with that, uh, there was like a whole like like twelve different fucking meanings in that one. <laughs> Arthur yeah, kind of yeah, cooked with that. Lot. Arthur kind of cooked with that. What? Well, Ordinate son. Um, well, uh, first and foremost, it sounds like fortunate son, yes. and there's a lot of music references. Oh, what, mm -hmm. what are they called? Uh, Homestuck. Yeah. Uh, uh, also. Some folks are born. Uh, Others aren't. Son sounds like son, but also son is lower than the father. It implies the secondary position, but also son is the next, you know. In the next in the generation kind of taking mm -hmm. in account the point that you know this character starts is all about inferior becomes superior sort of deal exactly is all about becoming uh, you know the next the next thing basically not being in power and then becoming something to help people ordinate if i remember rightly is something to do with it Tim sounds like mm. uh uh, let me, like let me look up the meaning well. of ordinate. Yeah. I don't think I... But yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. uh, ordinate. Sounds like ordinance as well, which is, you know... Big fuck oh, That's gun. it. A straight line from any point drawn parallel to one coordinate axis meeting and meeting the other. Especially coordinate measured parallel to the vertical. So the idea is, it's something that is parallel to the sun, which is quite literally... Uh, uh, Nemina. Like, that's the point. Nemina was the sun, and this character is the parallel to them. They are also the, like, secondary, lower level to that character. They are the sun, the, the you know, the younger, the lesser. Mm -hmm. But they do eventually overtake them, and in that point, that is when Nemina is like an old, withered, dying cretin. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And yeah, they just run parallel to each other, so that's kind of the whole point of that. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Indeed, indeed. Uh, everything... Celadex, I've just explained finger modus so that I don't get confused about things. So that and capture on cards, about. aside to fingers, because he has to count on each finger. And yeah. he can flick the finger to flick them out. Yeah, with the force of the flick being, equi being you know... Sim... It, more force in flick mean more force in object ejection. You can flick real softly, just drops on the ground. Flicks real hard, ah, oh, that's a bullet. That's just a, that's just a, a fucking <clears throat> yoink. Uh, high martial arts skill we've kept. Uh, I've specified condensed telekinesis. Used to fly, punch, and kick harder. Li lift uh, super heavy objects. And fire shots of compressed air with his punches. His telekinesis always ends up damaging him in the process of using it. Uh, I've specified condensed because basically how I've thought of it is if you put like telekinesis out like video game style statistically of like range and force. Aradia's telekinesis for example would be like a 5 on both of those. Arthur's range 1, force 10. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Like, it, it only, the telekinesis the only telekinesis works strength. on him. Yeah. But it's like... It can kind of work in, like, a, a matter of inches around himself. You know, so he good. could... If he... if he Like, later I mean, the whole on point when he of it is mainly to move it, himself around and fling yeah. himself. Mm. Later that's on when he really yeah. practices with it, he could, like, catch a projectile. It, like, like a force shield almost around himself. 
Oh, so he does the Matrix fucking thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like kind that. of, but, yeah, it, but instead of it being, like, time. a good few inches away from his hand, it's, like, a couple of millimeters away from breaking his skin. <laughs> Stood there like, huh. Damn. So it's like, mm. uh... And then he just, like, really did. capture Golden logs, one. flicks it back. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Uh, three, toughness. Arthur can sustain a high amount of damage without serious... Uh, without serious injury and can power through great pain with ease. Basically, when he breaks his arm, he du when he breaks his arm with his fucking telekinesis, he just sort of uses his telekinesis to sort of hold his shit together and just bear. Yeah, exactly. Just, just set it in place. And yeah, he <laughs> bro <laughs> just motherfucker has the fucking in. like motherfucker locks dragon in and slayer keeps armor from the broken with his telekinesis. Arm. Yeah. And four. That was not the idea, but I guess yeah. And four. Well, no, because it's like you're keeping yourself together. You're like putting yourself yeah. back together, but mm. it's not fixing things. Yeah, kinda it's like, like, like holding it, yeah. you in place. It's kind of it's a no, similar know, yeah. way of thinking of it. Yeah, mm. I didn't think about that, but yeah, yeah. And now we're just thinking. Yeah. And four. <laughs> I love dissociation. Butcher. Arthur is constantly in a safe <laughs> I know, state of dissociation Arthur. from his sense of self. He experiences life in the form of the actor, <laughs> the director, and the critic. These three roles are not separate identities, simply three semi-coherent sta uh, states of perception. Let me really put my mental illness in the character, thank you. We did that. <laughs> we did that, yes. I believe it was your idea, actually. Uh, fuck me. What an asshole. Mm. And then post-entry. <laughs> really? And then post-entry powers. One, Grimdark Trance. That's unchanged. Uh, Two, I'm didn't so hear no bell. Shot. Didn't hear no bell. Can use his belief in himself to keep standing up even when it shouldn't be possible. Uh, three, debuff resistance. Uh, through his belief in himself, Arthur can maintain the absolute pinnacle of his performance at almost all times at almost all times, hardly ever tiring, falling ill, or having an off day of any kind. He can also lessen or even cancel out effects to decrease his power. And finally, improved telekinesis. Arthur's telekinesis techniques no longer hurt him with their use, as well as being more powerful generally. Hooray. Um, other information, Yay. worships the sun because it is burning itself alive mm -hmm. just to give us light was tricked by Nemina into believing that Nemina was the sun. Arthur now carries out the will of the sun, destroying buildings, assassinating high priority targets, and generally causing terror and unrest as Nemina orders. Here comes the sun. Speaking of Nemina, <laughs> Nemina. Uh, troll tag, auspicious null. Also, I, th I think we should just establish uh, this text color for... Okay, the text color for Julian is just sort of a pink. It... It's a. Di I'll just show a block of that color on screen because the yeah. text color, because the yeah. text colors, thanks to Word, are not the exact, are not the actual um, value shown here. Uh, because I'm not taking Word off of uh, dark mode because I don't want to fucking blind myself. Yeah. Understandable. Uh, Me when this, I blind myself. Howard. It's a sort of. Howard. Yeah. Also, I don't want to fucking blind the audience. That's also Yeah. Ah, <clears throat> oh, what is this? Empathy. Cruel. Uh, the, yep. Uh, but basically, for these two, it's because they're kind of unnoticed and society really doesn't give two shits about them, really. As a whole. Mm. Well, I mean, more so well, Julian's actively that, just concealing for, her blood nah, colour. Julian... <laughs> is concealing a blood colour and also has a bit of protection from higher up. We will get to that. And for Nemina, it's because, well, there's only so many violet bloods. So if it was revealed that a violet blood was uh, behind all of the terrorist activities, you could just sort of go through them relatively easily to figure out who the ringleader is. So he's using an anonymous grey text. To hide Gronimus. his identity. And auspicious null. I don't remember the meaning behind that properly. I, I, I do. Because um, months ago. Aus auspicious. Uh, something that is like of great importance, but mm. 
in some way kind of uh, fantastical and I think negative. We can hmm. make sure that auspicious does mean negative. And then null because he wants. I uh, remember null <clears throat> is because he wants. To oh, it's conducive sort of to success and favourable. So it's actually the opposite. It's usually positive then. Hmm. So yeah, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's kind of cra- characterised by being full of promise and being uh, brosy, right, and good. And then like the idea of null being the cancel out to that. Yeah, yeah. and he the wants antithesis. to. Yeah. He want, I think it was because he wants to just sort of wipe the slate clean and auspicious is because he thinks that's a good thing. To yeah. wipe the slate clean and start with a better future from scratch. Reduce it all to the mm. Scratch what? like in the thing. Uh, Silidex bullet modus. Um, Nemina Silidex can, cannot be used or accessed in any way unless Nemina is using bullet time. Uh, bullet time, discussed previously, last time. Violet privilege. Just so much money and resources. Also doesn't particularly know what life is like for lower casts and doesn't especially care. Uh, well, psychoanalysis. Psycho- psychoanalysis. Excellent at reading people. And then tailoring. Nemina can make his own clothes from scratch. He can also put weapons or bombs in them. And then post-entry abilities. Uh, number one. We have... <laughs> Wait, I just had a really funny idea. Yes. Uh, like um, an assassination attempt where it's like, just uh, is like put on this outfit to Put Arthur. Arthur puts on the outfit and then just has to go into a build. It's like one of the early ones where he's like, all right, I no longer need this guy. He sends him to a building covered in bombs and the bombs all detonate <laughs> and he still stood there afterwards like, oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> no. So it's no, like a, it's like a suicide it vest that no. doesn't kill them. <laughs> no, please, please. And the demon is just like, what the fuck? The idiot tried to what? practice. Please, uh, forgive me. I didn't mean to explode. It's not my fault. It's going to explode, isn't the, it? He says in the still collapsing building. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. I feel Sorry. like that's quite amazing. The building collapses no. on him and Neiman is just like, well, that's that asset dealt with. And then Arthur just sort of like, very, just sort of like, just like, Flies outwards Fly out towards the sun. It's like, no, please, forgive me. Flies forgive upwards me. out of the fucking rubble and it's like, please, please, don't you, don't put me away from the light. Please. Please. <laughs> uh, then we have post entry uh, yeah. abilities. We have sun form. Nemina can force his body to act well beyond its normal limitations. This will tear his body apart, but both the uh, battle damage from this and opponents are continually healed. Once this form ends, however, the pain of all this damage hits Nemina all at the same time. Which can be enough to kill him from shock alone. Uh, two, buffing abilities. Nemina can temporarily buff him, buff the abilities of himself or other people. Three, healing. Nemina can use belief and positivity to heal people, both himself and others. And four, delay death. If someone is dying near Nemina and he believes hard enough that they'll be fine, he can use his abilities to extend their life. This is not a proper resurrection, as after a certain amount of time, fate will catch up to them. This could be anything from a minute to several weeks, but the target will eventually die. Nemina cannot heal the target himself while this ability is active, because if he tried, his belief that they were fine would break, thus ending the ability. Somebody else could heal them, and thus make them survive. And thus make them survive. But he effectively has Did the... You? No, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. And it Uchiradi. actually works. Oh. Did, you... Did you say Gojo uh, earlier? No, I said... I said... Jojo. <laughs> oh, Jojo. It's the, oh. it's the Bucciarati sequence, isn't it? No, it is yeah. legit. It is legit the Bucciarati La- Lazarus. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. It's cool, though. And Don't worry about it, Jono. I'm going back to where I'm supposed to go. A, vi- a Violet Blood trying to make a change in Alternia sends his underground terrorist cell consisting of Arthur, Julian, and Xander to destroy his enemies. Then uses his position as a Violet Blood to cover up the attacks, erase evidence of the target's existence, and distance himself and his underlings from the... Uh, from the casualties also tends to inflict <laughs> severe trauma on uh, the other three believing this to be all for the greater good it, not like actively inflicting trauma it's the it's the uncaring attitude toward the fact that they have yeah. you know they are being traumatized but just quickly quickly i uh, we also 
had that whole thing about the fucking um the like they it's they like the the uh what was it was uh, a classic example of this is Nemina was attempted to be assassinated right or something like that and um this would happen then they would they would like digging out the grave for Nemina with Nemina what like in the coffin still or something and Nemina no, like I believe ord- it, yeah oh. they were digging his grave and then I be- if I'm not mistaken yeah they just he just said yeah no Arthur uh kill him and Arthur just fucking a trains through them through the grave digger and then now he just lives in the grave. Oh, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, uh, yeah. There's the grave digger and the and the like the politician who are yeah, setting up this assassination. So setting it up. And uh, I, I don't know. I think it makes a lot of sense if Nemina was like in danger at that point. Otherwise, why would they be digging the grave already? So Nemina is at that point in danger, which is why there's yeah. no elaborate scheme to how he's just like get him. It's just so like, just, ah, emergency, just, emergency. Just like, go, go to these coordinates, and he just does, and they happen to be in those coordinates, to, and then no longer there. These, he just sort of calculates the exact coordinates. Go to these coordinates exactly, really, really fast. And Arthur just fucking... <laughs> Arthur just immediately sings the A-Train song. <laughs> sorry, so, sorry, hang on, did you just do the fucking Roadrunner? <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Yeah, <laughs> beep, beep, beep. yeah well, <laughs> But that, that's what would happen. It would be like, meep, meep, and then just well, like, no, straight lines meep, straight meep. towards the coordinates. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then just, you know, hole through everything and then like yeah, explosion of gore at that exact position. And then the other guy like turns, screams, and then it's, oh, and just like dashes forward slightly into that guy and he just pops as well. And it's like, so the boys hey, never happens. Jesus. And then he goes into the grave. Hooray! And, and then he just lies he's like, in the oh, grave. nice, a grave. He's like, oh, nice, a hole to live in. This place shall become your grave. And then Nemina has to wait for, like, uh, Arthur to fucking fall asleep. Before he can he just, can like, get out of the grave. himself and leave. Yeah, exactly. He's like, oh, or he's like, no, take the take the coffin somewhere else and then go to <laughs> sleep in this grave. Else. And it's like, oh, nice, I love this. And, and then from that on, and from that point on, because no, because he never ordered Arthur to go anywhere else to sleep, Arthur just assumes he has to sleep in this grave forever. Or like yeah, exactly, every time yeah. he goes to sleep, he has to sleep in this grave. It's orders yeah. from the sun. This is his bed That's now. That's the rules. That's the, the rules. It was a gift. It was a gift. You don't look from a gift. Ho- you don't look, you don't a, look gift a gift grave hole in, in the, the ground in the mouth. Uh, oh, anyway, God. and now we're moving on. To some new characters, because I figured <laughs> five is a bit of an odd number of... Well, it is literally an odd number, but it's an unusual number of characters to have for a, a scrub session, a spurb session. So there's going to be a few NPCs. But first... Yeah. <laughs> Masson Masson. <laughs> let, me, let me get Masson Masson's sprite here. Oh, let's see, let's see this guy. Can you tell the influence? Yo, it's... <laughs> can you, oh my god, can it's you Mario! The influence? Super Holy Mario shit, it's... But... <laughs> this guy is not related to the terrorist cell, I can guarantee it. This oh, motherfucker no, he lives a normal <laughs> well, life. He's, he's tangentially related to it. He's a friend of Xander's. But... <laughs> He doesn't know much. He doesn't know about the Bro terrorist cell. Bro is a plumber. <laughs> Have you got the other well, version? He literally, yeah. Uh, but uh, there, there is another version of what is it? What's it like under his hat? <laughs> <laughs> Bald. Oh god. Bald. Oh god. Bald. 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 He's, young. He's, the youngest. He's the youngest character yeah. in the group. He's nine and a half sweeps old. Oh god, hell! Oh my... that? That's like nineteen. 20? Yeah, that's that's base. That's like nineteen or twenty-ish. Just about. <sighs> Dude went bald around the same age as. Uh... Bro started balding at this at the same age like car cat was. It's not even like started balding as well. He's yeah, like no. he's like been bald for like years. Yeah. Like, to get that shiny, you have to not have had hair for a very long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro was bald. Like, bald. That motherfucker looks like he waxes his head. 
The bro is well, I mean, bald, when you've got, bald. When you've got bald. no He's hair, bald. you got to decorate that bit somehow. you got to have that bit look kind of nice somehow. I can ge I can genuinely imagine like uh him like accidentally blinding somebody. <laughs> Solar like, flare. You know the two the two people the two like giant glowing golden individuals and then this man's shiny ass bald head reflecting the light <laughs> straight into everyone and it's like oh god please the put the ultimate hat on. super weapon. <laughs> the Arthur kind of Neiman and Masson, <laughs> Solar flare. <laughs> Like, please put the hat on. Jesus My Christ. god. Oh, Jesus. My anyway, yeah. God. So, Masson Masson. Troll tag? Flaming uh, Dead. Uh, because he has pyrokinesis. Mm -hmm. because, let, I'm not going to lie. A good bit of this was uh, it's, it's Super Mario in real life. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> My life is, is like a video. video. Super video Mario game. in real life. Spaghetti! Trying oh, hard to hard be, be the same. Anyway, 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 anyway. So, all uh, the while I'm dead. still I mean, collecting coins. The reason, the reason we went for something with the initials FD is because FD, if you can, if you uh, swap out the letters for their equivalent uh, numbers, uh, is 64. Yeah. Like Mario, uh, like a Super Mario in real life. <laughs> Super Mario in real life. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Here's my brother Luigi with a whole pile of information. Hello, Mario. Hello, Mario. Sp <laughs> okay, sign scorist. Uh, class Super page, Mario page in page real life. The reason, thing is, with this bit is um, when we did the. When we did the quiz, uh, Mason didn't originally... The, the one that Mason got right off the bat was um, Sylph of Time. But he tied with Air and Page both yeah. at once. So we just went, well, we've already got a Sylph. We've already got an Air Page. Let's go with the third one that we haven't got yet. Diversify. Only I'm one nice. class can get doubled up on, and that's Mage. I'm nice. Uh, typing quirk types like oh, a are you still doing the life is like a video game. <laughs> yes like basically he puts ah at the end he puts ah at the end of every word the uh, quicker browner <laughs> foxer jumps out over uh, the late uh, lazy uh, dog uh, <laughs> it's a me Mario. dogger <laughs> ah, gotcha. it's it's uh, me uh, mario uh. i spent hours of my life stomping Coopers. Coopers. <laughs> anyway, uh, Strap Specimus, Mace Kind, Silidex, Dice Modus. It's the Mario Party. It's a Mario Party dice appears above Masson's head, which you must punch to obtain an item from his Silidex. The Modus will sometimes really predetermine do. what Mass. The Modus will sometimes predetermine what Masson will get, with no way to prevent or predict what the dice chose. Because literally in some Mario Party games, the dice roll is predetermined. It's not luck. It's literally chosen ahead of time. So sometimes uh, the Silidex will just go, fuck you. I don't know which you game get... specifically, but that definitely is fuck a thing you. that happens. You're getting the cheese. I find it funny how, like, two, like, two different Silidexes are just random chance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the ga um, the gambling. Lotus. A fungus frog, otherwise known as frongus. A frongus. Frongus. <laughs> frongus. Frongus. Uh, psionics and a other frongus. abilities. Uh, pyrokinesis. Masson can use the psionic power to create and control fire, as well as having a significant resistance to burning. Because Mario can just jump over lava, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, super acrobatics. Masson can jump incredibly high naturally and can perform great feats of acrobatic skill. Three, tech skills. Masson is highly proficient with technology and is a capable programmer. He can also drive, strangely. Um, My man is other... forklift circuitified. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were contest stopper, me uh, now were. Uh... That uh, I uh, am a uh, other public, languages. Uh, certified, Masson uh, can speak several other languages, including Troll Italian and Troll Japanese. Don't you mean Etrolian? No, 
No, I do not mean Etrolian. What about Trollpanese? <laughs> Very good. Hee hee ha ha. Anyway, uh, post entry <laughs> stuff. Uh, post god tier stuff. Uh, one, selective time warping can speed up, slow down, or reverse the flow of time in a specific area by a wide margin. Uh, two, spirit guide. Masson can see his uh, descendant ancestor person, Lewis Masson, performing actions and giving hints as to what to do next. The two cannot talk initially, but as, as Masson grows stronger, the two can eventually talk to each other. It's the super guide uh, from New Super Mario Bros. Three, autonomous time travel. Masson can shunt himself and others backwards and forwards through time. And for Doom Timeline Conjuration, Masson can bring Doom Timeline versions of himself and others. Because uh, if you've ever played any of the Yoshi's Island games, yeah, you know that good. time travel is not a difficult notion in the Mario franchise. And also as a page, <laughs> and also as a page it, it basically, as far as I understand it, pages, just in terms of game mechanics, have incredible potential... But it takes a long time for them to be able to realize that potential. We so are Masson's magic abilities, So Masson's abilities are very powerful, but he doesn't get most of them for a very long time. Basically, his fucking skill curve, his, fuck, his fucking level up curve is fucking nearly flat and it just goes straight upwards. It's certain. a flat line, then a straight line. Yeah. But the flat line would also be... Man, I can't believe he flatlined. Damn. Uh, synopsis slash important information. Friend of Xander's. Very enthusiastic person. Loves to talking about his interests. Uh, I put interest singular here. I believe I wrote this at like 10 at night, so there will probably be typos. <laughs> um, uh, generally sticks to his comfort zone, but open to try new things. Like, most of this was at the ex specific suggestion of Mason, so... Likes walking on on the beach, playing non-romantic visual novels, petting Frongus, and watching Xander's, Xander's content. Because Xander, we also decided, does video editing on the side. I just didn't put that anywhere. Just makes content Yo, on troll YouTube. He, he makes content. <laughs> Gee... Yeah, wonder where that idea came some... from. It's almost yeah, like I wonder where that something. idea came from. It's almost like he's based <sighs> on a, a person. You're also... telling me these characters are based on people? Get out of here. Da -da -da -da. Get out of here. Leave. Also, Goodbye. Also like schlocky action adventure yeah. movies. Uh, this boy is autistic as fuck. Uh, tends to be a little <laughs> timid with others at first, and can, f but can fall into crowds with some help. As with everyone, generally okay with... As with everyone on Alternia, generally okay with people dying. Acts as a secret guy in the chair for Xander, Julian, and Arthur's operations. Only Xander knows about him initially. Basically, Masson helps out, but isn't a doesn't actually know what they're doing. He just sort of like... Xander's just like, hey Masson, can you do this? I'm the yeah, intern. Okay, okay He's done. the fucking middle Cheers, man. And then Xander, Julian, and Arthur kill everyone in that building without Masson even knowing. Masson God, just, like, we really are just Security playing systems. Lethal Company. True. <laughs> True. Well, no, if we not play sorry. Lethal Company, no, no, no. Cruelty, they'd be killed Cruelty by squad. everyone Cruelty inside squad. the building. Cruelty yeah, squad. Cruelty. I meant Cruelty yeah. squad. Cruelty squad. Fair enough. Anyway, Mario... Can you blame me? They... they uh, uh, names blend too. together. Yeah, we don't need the physical description. That was for my benefit when making that uh, the the sprites that you have seen. Next, it's time for some non-player characters. Oh First. boy! <laughs> By the way, I will just preface now: all three of the NPCs are Julian's girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> of various I don't. When when did we decide? Like, oh, this has been like ages, so I don't remember how long. Ago. It might have been- I think it was November. I don't remember. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway. <laughs> uh, we got Cereza uh, Ker We got Cereza Kermis. Chlorophobic Jester. Age, 11 sweeps. Uh, sign, Caprissa, made of blood. Uh, type in quote, capitalizes and adds eyes. Well, and duh, what else was she supposed to be made of? Yeah, I was going to make a joke like that. 
Well, I mean, flesh and bone are relatively important. No, just blood. All human beings just, are made no, of blood. Just blood. Pure, pure blood. Nothing else. Just blood. No she organs. Blood. No organs. No skin. No muscle. No bone. Just blood. Big old walking mm -hmm. puddle of blood. Uh, but basically turns them into the into clown faces. Cool. Um, Strife Specifus, uh, Shears kind slash two blade kind. Basically, Shears, take them apart, two blades, put them back together, Shears again. I think I, t I think I got that idea from a fucking like Bloodborne two concept enemy that someone came up with. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm shit? not gonna Doesn't... lie. And not to be that guy, but doesn't isn't is isn't it S H E A R S? I don't care. Anyway, That's fair enough. Uh, I don't Cilidex. know. Silidex joke oh modus. Cereza has to perform a functional joke about the item she wants to get out of a card. Her joke has to make her modus laugh and must make sense. Uh, Lucis, giant stick bug with a jack o' lantern head. Sonics and other I genuinely don't remember why I came up with that. I, I, it was months ago. I'm just reading what's on the page at this point, honestly. Oh, that's so far. That's so I am far. just reading what is on the page. Uh, abilities. Mass nightmare inducement can create nightmares in the minds of others. Targets do not have to be sleeping for this to work, but it certainly helps. Uh, two superior backflips. Can perform backflips better than dueling. Just a backflip stuff. <laughs> uh, three, contortionist Can bend her body in various strange ways That don't seem possible I do Four, scare actor everything. training Can influence people with the sound of her Can influence people with the sound of her voice uh, Not necessarily The words of her voice To be clear uh, Yeah, like they just, you know The tone is more accurate Yeah than uh, Post-entry abilities, friendship constructs. Cereza can create Green Lantern-style constructs formed from the bonds she shares with other uh, with others. The stronger the bonds, and the more bonds she has, the stronger the constructs become. Uh, two, Blood Tether allows Cereza to reduce damage done to allies at the cost of receiving some of that damage herself. Um, Support. Nice. Yeah. So, it, yeah. basically, it's like, if you imagine, like, a character takes, like, some somebody takes however much damage. Uh, Cereza can reduce that damage to a third of its total amount, take a third of that total damage herself, and then the last third just sort of disappears. So it is better to use it, but she does, you know, also take damage. Uh, three, yeah. stronger to, three stronger to death together. Cereza can improve other people's speed, strength, defense, or other attributes. The closer the two are, the greater the buff is. Cereza can also, uh, Cereza also receives the buff she the buffs she gives out. And clotting, Cereza can create blood clots, allowing her to either close wounds or cut off circulation to opponents' limbs. Uh, Additional synopsis: uh, Dylan's mate sprit. The other two will get to uh, scare actor, but it's actually very nice behind the scenes. Uh, likes buying flowers, secretly not a believer in the Mirthful Messiahs, but has to pretend to be constantly. Nemanie uses this to make her do as he wants. Uh, she loves eating very dusty crisps, but has to wear gloves for her scare actor job, so her gloves are constantly covered in crisp dust. Is against the clown cult because when she was young, her sect of the cult killed a large number of people, including all of her at the time friends. Then almost all of them committed ritual suicide. She was intentionally left behind. Heaven's Gate, continues. but worse. It's Heaven's Gate. It's, he it's Heaven's Gate, but worse. It's Heaven's Gate, but they also killed a lot of people outside of their group. Also, Jesus. I <laughs> Let's hope we actually get this video seen after we said that word. Yep. Mm. Oh boy, and uh, this is what she looks like. The blue stain is blood. To clarify. Jeez. It is blood. Next, this Opal one. Luster. Uh, troll tag, crystal indefinite. Uh, age, 10 sweeps. Sign, Aquilo. Class pet, Witch of Heart. 
a typing quirk. Uh, she replaces letters with similar looking currency symbols. I'm... You can see. You can see it. <laughs> Strife Specimus. <laughs> heal kind. Silidex Diamond Modus. Every, uh, every item Opal picks up is stored in one facet of a large diamond. Opal must look into the appropriate facet to extract the item stored within. The diamond can be broken, which causes all items stored within uh, broken facets to violently eject from the diamond. A new diamond will generate a few minutes later. Alusus is Tamatoa from Moana, bling included. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm yeah, shiny. We're going, like a we're treasure from a sunken pirate. Uh, Scrub the deck to make it look shiny. I'll sparkle uh, like a wealthy woman. Because I forgot neck. everything because I've been sec, so fucking busy. Don't you busy. know? Fish are dumb, dumb, dumb. Yes, 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 yes. Next. Her, her abilities. Money. She has <laughs> yes, it. we get it. Shiny. Money. She has it. Uh, connections. Very good at making people get along. Not necessarily work as a team. Uh, kind of like how... Let's be real. When you're in a classroom with your friends, you get along great. You're not going to do anything. Nope. You're going to do absolutely nothing productive in any way, shape, or form. Uh, three, charming. Very good at making people do what she wants. Uh, four, crushing hugs. She breaks bones. This was June's suggestion. <laughs> uh, and then... I think I took that shit from fucking Beware from Pokemon because I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Probably Beware. did. Everybody we did a lot of we did a lot of things here because it was there. funny. He's a bear. Um, post post entry stuff. Uh, she gets uh, post god tier. She gets uh, abilities. Dominate person. Completely control a person's mind and soul. Uh, two mood changer can influence people's moods, but not in any very strong emotions. Uh, three power of love. Uh, emotion slash love spirit bomb. And four, turn hater can force weaker enemies to flee from her. Basically, imagine turn undead from D and D, but it's for haters. Do they uh, also synopsis. like burst into flame and start melting? Hmm. Uh, yes. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so like by the end of the game, if like an imp comes up to her, she can just go, fuck you. And just. <laughs> and the imp just disappears. It's dead. It's the garlic from Vampire Survivors. <laughs> uh, uh, synopsis additional stuff. Uh, Julian's Moirail and uh, Cereza's Kismesis. They fucking hate each other, but they also fucking. Uh, Spoils her loved ones, uh, tries to be nice about it, ends up being a little condescending. Would 100% threaten to cut a man's junk off with her heel. Uh, fe sort of femme fatale-esque, reads fan fiction, a lot of fan fiction. Has committed tax evasion and uh, and using that money to uh, dote on Julin. Uh, Nemana knows this and holds it over her to make her do his bidding because... Let's be real, if, if if Altonian society found out that a violet blood was using a bunch of resources to just spoil this one rust blood, uh... <laughs> well, the violet yeah. bloods would be unhappy because people... because they're trash and also fucking put the resources to better use, like, towards my things. And the rust bloods would, hit, would be happy because they'd be like, what the, what the fuck makes us official? For a peasant's revolt, bitch! I love... Having and and the other violet bloods would just go. You know what? You can have that one. You can have that one. We don't like her. Um, yep. Uh, has tried to replicate the relationship between the sufferer and the disciple to little success. Uh, loves causing quadrant vacillation on occasion for the drama. Is troll Scottish. Uh, thinks of Julian more as a pet than an equal partner. And then finally. Damasa Artil. Age 12 sweeps old, making her the second oldest in the group. After Nemo, who's fucking 20 sweeps old. Man is, man is in his mid 40s. <laughs> old man. Bro has, bro I don't has know found why he did this. a young adult. 
Old grey man. Old grey man. Uh, sign, Sajigo. Uh, Bard of Space. Uh, typing quirk, toggles capitalization whenever she says a D or an A. Um, strife specimens, ray gun kind. Silidex, uh, work, Silidex, you... workbench modus. Hmm? Did I what? Did you show Opal? Oh I shit, uh, I forgot, yes. <laughs> this is Opal. Her hair is dyed artificially and people just aren't really allowed to question it. Also, here's her, minus the hat. I like she the is hat. Not bald. I... She's not bald. She, is <laughs> she not just bald. has a big <laughs> fucking hat. <laughs> That's my gimmick. She just has a really big hat. If you're wondering how she gets the hat on over the diamond-shaped horns, with difficulty. It's like a... It's like elastic around the holes so it just stretches over the horns. Yeah. I'm not even a tailor and I solve that. Hmm. I'm not But then the problem is getting them back off because then she has to fully just stretch each of the holes open individually to get them off the fucking horns. It's still with difficulty. It off it's just like, well, no, it's it's with difficulty on her part. Making the hat to have that uh, functionality was relatively easily was relatively easy. She suffers for her fashion. Uh, yeah. So, mm. back to Demasa, Silidex, work workbench modus, uh, functions like a Minecraft crafting table. Uh, when Damasa caps logs an item, it is broken down into basic component parts. Uh, sticks, levers, buttons, iron, gold, the stuff. Uh, Damasa must craft these components together to recreate capture logged items. Damasa can also use these components to craft anything she she's ever capture logged before using the same recipe as before. So if something disassembles to give her two sticks and two buttons, she can... Uh, to, two sticks and like two lever entrance things she can use that to make two levers uh mm. Lossus, giant opossum very polite she calls him brick after the <laughs> fucking guy after the fucking <laughs> rats from pizza, <laughs> pizza tower. tower rats <laughs> i was playing pizza tower at the time i just figured it was funny. yeah Pepina, pizza tower. yeah uh, Sonic's and other abilities. Uh, she's a weaponsmith. Can forge almost any weapon you can think of. Uh, Heisenberg. Can make any chemical compound. Doom, 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 <laughs> doom. Uh, three, super, three super strength. Incredibly strong, but very able to control that strength, unlike a certain sweaty someone. Mm. Uh, and four. Very mm. attractive. Description of that ability. Sadly. Uh, post Julin entry abilities. <laughs> yeah, Julian won't. Julian, the character, wrote that one. Yeah. Um, God tier abilities. Uh, black, black hole can form small on a cosmic scale, at least. Black holes. Uh, two gravitational telekinesis. Very powerful, but difficult to control telekinesis. Because she's not so much picking an object up as creating a center of gravity somewhere and just moving that center of gravity around. And objects are just sort of like flinging around around that center of gravity. Uh, three portals. Destroy space in a location to make a passage through to, an, uh, through to another location. Uh, she cannot exactly control what's on the other side of the portal, so it's very much just a I need to get out of this location and I don't particularly care where out is. And four, <laughs> density adjustment. Can make herself or others more or less dense without changing their volume. Effectively, just make them heavier, make them lighter. Uh, and synopsis slash additional mm. information. Uh, Julian's Kismesis, Cerise's Moirel, Opal's Matesprit, uh, she's a weaponsmith, something of a mad scientist, crazy inventor vibe, has performed unethical live experimentation, not on Julian, and is weirdly into it. Uh, she smokes, absolutely pathetic evil laugh, sometimes tries to put more energy into it, but ends up coughing and, splut and sputtering. 
Uh, Julian having a better evil laugh is what started their kismesisitude. Uh, she's a sadomasochist, would never let anyone know them about the masochist part. Keeps items from people she's experimented on as sort of mementos. Uh, she has a gun that turns people into pr into precious stones. Will test weapons on literally anyone except Julian because she wants to make sure her weapons hurt before she uses them on her. <laughs> the master's weapons have a tendency to be significantly overboard and would kill Julian if not for her luck. And that's our new characters! Hooray! Let me hey. just show you. Hey! And here is Damaso. She also has shades. Nice. <laughs> I like to we imagine that the they aren't actually glasses, change, but they are instead like... Uh, like she two, has... Like, like two monocles, there's effectively. An, there's, there's an adhesive, so it like sticks to the top of her, like, either. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. She's no, got very no, heavy she, set eyebrows. No, no. Every other character, every other character, has eyebrows despite them not being drawn. Damasa canonically doesn't have eyebrows because she tried sticking the <laughs> adhesive onto the eyebrows for the lenses, and uh, it pulled her fucking eyebrows out yeah. from yeah, the root. Exactly, yeah. From the root, she has no eyebrows anymore. She got that Super that's Saiyan three going on. Indeed. And now, it's time to finally get to the point of this fucking video. <laughs> now that we've spent about an hour discussing all of the characters, it's time to get to the actual point of the video, which is making the plot. Uh, but let's answer one final general question before we get to the plan. Uh, does uh, Xander end up becoming a rainbow drinker, aka vampire type deal? If so, just roughly when will that happen? Let's so roll a dice. Mm. Dice roller. If it's even, then yes. If it's, if odd, it's odd, then no. Odd, no. <laughs> it was even. Why did yes. we? Yeah, baby, vampire man. Okay, Ooh. and when will this happen? The then let's roll this a happen. dice. So hang on, we've got a. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'll be back six. in a sec, guys. We've got six pla we've got six- no, actually seven. We've got seven points that it can happen. Let's roll a d8 and ignore the eight. Yeah, re-roll on an eight. Six. So it happens during the end game portion. We're in the end game now. Uh, let's just... Xander... That becomes... A... Rainbow drink drinker. That sounds like a very inventive way of calling somebody gay. Hey, yeah, it does. Well, I mean, Kanaya. Hey, hey, can I? Mean, Kanaya, a so. Fucking. He stupid. likes his bread buttered on both sides. Hey, he likes his. Uh, this hey, motherfucker's he, he, wildly he goes golfing on the weekends. Hey. This this guy's fucking wildly inconvenient with breakfasts. Anyway, D uh, one time, like maybe the second time I ever made toast, I did butter it before I put it in the toaster. What the fuck? It's not even <laughs> what we were talking about. I know, but it reminded hey, me. He butters his bread before and after it goes in the toaster. <laughs> He's kind of a fucking idiot. Hey, he likes that double buttered half melted pan of toast. This shit even in, this shit ain't even a comment on this guy's sexuality. He's just fucking brain dead. Hey, this motherfucker uses a microwave. He just doesn't even know how to make toast. Generally, he's just he's just kind of really bad at making breakfasts. You can do hey. a killer steak dinner though. And he makes a good ragu. Steak dinner. Steak and garlic butter. <laughs> A steak dinner? <laughs> yeah. More like a I mistake. Know, I know he can do it. He's my husband. Anyway. I like how that's what we've started doing now. Just a da 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 da. Okay, so the plan. The plan for this series of videos. Because there's going to be multiple of these. We're not going to get through all of this in however long this video goes on. Yeah, so I, I have to go in like at least. 
uh, sorry, at most an hour. I would prefer to go in like 40 minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Well, we can get some of the early stuff done. <laughs> so we don't have to go over this shit again. Uh, so, plan is, we're going to go through this in sequential order, unless we want to do any, like, foreshadowing business. Unless there's any specific points of foreshadowing we want to do, and then we'll just sort of, like, note them yeah. uh, at the time. So, hey, hey, this, this guy shadows four times. Okay. He's gay. Anyway. <laughs> I, I don't understand the correlation to these two Everybody things. knows that straight people no, only have to shadow of, thrice. It's one of those things where it's like, the, like the, there is a lot of euphemisms for somebody being gay in English, but most of them are just this guy, emphasis on a thing, and then it's like a completely normal phrase. It's like, um, mm. oh, he likes, you know, you know, oh, he likes to go visit the shops on the weekend or... So, I don't know. I can't remember any of them, but there's just a lot. Insane. This guy likes to call his mother on the phone. Yeah, yeah, it's like that or something like that. And it's like, what? I just really like just taking a completely normal country. phrase and just go, hmm. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> like just a foreshadow. This, what is this stupid. This What is this stupid? This stupid guy likes to take a bath every now and then. Yeah, yeah, out. stuff like that. Yeah, Get yeah, me exactly. Out. Get me out of this stupid country. Anyway, so uh, we got seven. Fa so we got seven phases to this. So we got pre-entry. More info about, about the the gangs, just general lives before the game starts. Uh, and any notable people in their lives, barring each other, and also not counting the people Nemina has had assassinated. So presumably no one on that front. But. Uh, <clears throat> Second phase, entry. Does anything notable happen during the entry period of the session? Basically, how does getting into the game go? Uh, I've, I've, a lot. We've got a few ideas, and by we I mean uh, me, because I have just about remembered them. June has presumably forgotten them, and I don't think Mason or Arthur were inf informed in any way, shape, or form on any of them. No. Oh, oh Jesus. I already have Woo! an idea of how Masson Masson enters the game, though. Hmm. My son. Uh, of my son. Also, are there any significant di difficulties with entry? What do we prototype into our sprites? What are our lands like? What are they called? Uh, I've decided that because none of the original four are space bound, I will make it either a null or void session, just depending on circumstances, even if other trolls are perfect for the game. Basically, we will not have. I have decided in advance for the purpose of having a like longer and more interesting story that the initial session will be a failure cool mm. uh, then we have the early game what challenges do we face early on in the game what kind of stuff do we alchemize it can be weapons it can be tools it can be useless random shit funny nonsense alchemical mistake whatever uh, what happens on Durst and Prospit early on or in other words what happens on Prospit because a fun little fact a fun little factoid uh, for anyone who doesn't know all of the uh, what all of the fucking uh, true signs mean. I'm the only one on Durs, including the NPCs. Xander is alone on Durs, and everyone else is on fucking Prospit. All of them, all seven. I think that's really <laughs> funny because I think that yeah. like a big part about Xander's life is that he's like chronically alone. Well, aside from all of the children. <laughs> Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, he's got all his children. He on. is a chronically single father. Yeah. He is single in so many respects, barring romantic. But also romantic. Just so many other respects on top of that as well, though. Uh, what dev developments happen before any of us reach God tier? Uh, then we've got mid game slash God tiering. How do we learn about God tiering? Uh, what order would? What order do we all God tier? Uh, what do we do during the time between the first and last ascension? Do any of us alchemize alternate god tier themed outfits? If so, what do they look like? Other stuff like what that basically based like? around that. Late game. What allies and enemies do we make over the course of the session? What notable things occur through the session after everyone's god tiered? Um, or everyone, uh, after all of the god tiers happen? Uh... Do we do anything about our our versions of the Midnight Crew? 
uh, do we realize at some point before rounding out what we can do in the session that we can't beat the game? Uh, what is it that's actually wrong with our session? What are our reactions to our denizens, generally speaking, since we don't know shit about fuck about denizens, really? Um, and then the end game. How do we deal with our versions of Jack Noir, the Black Queen, and the Black King? Uh, how does our session look by the end? What are, you know, how are they doing? How are all the lands, Prospect, Durst, all that going? Uh, how long was the session start to finish? And then we'll uh, also decide what is our session's like special number, our equivalent of those, which will presumably be effectively Arthur Pendra's birthday. If Arthur goes what? in first. Oh, okay. Is he, he's the well, special whoever goes guy? In, whoever, whoever it is that goes in first, it'll be their birthday and they'll kind of be, they'll be the lead of the special guy. Fair enough. Mm. All right. Well, it's probably Arthur because I'd imagine yeah. Numenor will be like, all right, go, uh, yeah, get so canary, get, canary get, down the mark. Get canaried. <laughs> get canaried, idiot. And then Numenor, in canarying you, accidentally, um, in canarying Arthur, accidentally makes him the leader of the fucking session by virtue of he get, he went in first. Whoops. Oh, I went in first. Get fucked. Bro. And, also, oh. pre and also, at some point during this endgame period, Xander becomes a rainbow drinker, as we have just decided. Uh, also, I did have an image prepared for that. He's just paler. Here's a comparison. I I think he should also have like a um, like a oh it's almost word. Um, he should have like a, a like a a clear like um oh, what's the word. He should have more stains on his clothing, is what I'm going to say. Like, he should actually be, like, yeah. covered in, like, food stains I'll and shit. That. I'll add that. Because it's, like... Uh, and also, I feel like... You know his, like, little, um... His little, like, monogrammed uh, thing? I feel like uh, it, it should have, like, um... A little, like... Uh, so, you know how he's got the monogrammed, like, symbol that he has? It should yeah. have, like, fucking, like, paint splotches all over it. And also, he should have a little fucking picture... Of like something in one of his pockets, like poking out, like something that his fucking kids gave him. Yeah, I'll 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 develop I'll develop later gamer uh, uh, Xana a bit. Presumably, I'll be developing some slight changes for later game versions of everyone at some point. I turn uh, into like a giant golden things. statue, don't I? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, literal. Okay. Uh, and then finally, we've got the post-game. How do we get around the unbeatable nature of our session? Uh, details for another video. General, me brief general. Basically, how do we how do we deal with that? Do we just fuck mm. off? Do we scratch? Do we just... Uh, what, what do we do? What do we do to deal with that? What do? Uh, to what, do? what do to segue into the next phase of the, of the story? Uh, the video may be split into multiple parts. If it takes too long to finish in one go, which it fucking will... Uh, we'll also be doing this one in chronological order since the events of one section will heavily be affected by events in the previous ones. And we can sort of stop and start whenever we like. So, some pre-entry stuff. Any, let, let, let's just think of details for just these guys' general lives to start with. Um, mm. hmm. I I mm. think we leave Arthur till last because he's got the most odd stuff. So we should start with normal. He's got the most first. wacky shit. Um, I reckon Mass has a pretty normal then? life. Kind of yeah. like you know, just your average sort of contractor living in a city, maybe. Nice, normal nice, you know, shitty, it is alternate. shitty apartment. Yeah. Shitty apartment. Uh, oh, no, he is... Okay, that's the thing. He is a Cerulean Blood, so it wouldn't be... It would be better than the average shitty apartment, but considering he's uh, kind of not doing what his cast is supposed to do, aka being low-end low uh, nobility, it would kind of be... Sh it would be middlingly shitty, as opposed to not actually yeah, yeah. shitty. No, exactly. It's like, you know, shitty-esque. Shitty-esque, as they say. Hmm... Works, works, works too. 
contract uh, fucking plumber. What do we want to lean into the plumber <laughs> bit, or do we want? I would, do we want I, to, like, what this was leading up to was basically. It was. Or I was basically to leading to up to like the whole like oh somehow ends up in the mushroom kingdom sort of uh, no. <laughs> aspect you... of like that of like <laughs> okay. his life is normal uh, and okay. all of a sudden. I, I nah. accept. I accept that this is Mario. Yeah. No but... to the mushroom kingdom. No, I don't mean no. specifically the Muslim <laughs> kingdom. I <laughs> mean like no, the same, the like, same sort of progression of like having a normal life and then all of a sudden starts off with a normal life and then shit gets weird. Presumably, yes. shit gets weird happens when Xander starts contacting him and becomes yeah. friends with him. You are essentially the warp pipe that leads to the Mushroom Kingdom in this metaphor. Yeah, in no, this metaphor, he would never. He would never. Uh, you would never. What profet? What profession? Do we want to go with plumber or do we want to actually no, change it a little bit? Carpenter. Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh my God! You mean like? <laughs> like a video no, game. What? Okay, Jesus. So he's, in, yeah, I was about to say. Instead of being Mario, he's now Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He doesn't look a thing <laughs> like Jesus. Jesus. Buddy. Jesus doesn't oh, have yeah, a do, uh, uh, look, mustache. Uh, 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 thing uh, like uh, Jesus. Uh. He doesn't uh, look I a still thing love... like a Jesus, but he talks like a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus. 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 Uh,
He's had multiple complaints from the owner of the place, but considering the owner of the place is like probably at most one cast higher, it's just sort of a like you're on thin fucking ice, Madison. You're on thin fucking ice, but you're a you're a fucking <laughs> you're fucking cer cerulean blood, so I can't exactly just kill you. Like most of my other tenants, so <sighs> you get to stay for now, you little fuck. Uh <laughs> accidental pyrokinesis usage. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, my bed's oh, on fire. Sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to me to do that. Oh. Uh oh. Um Never informed on what they're for, so you don't you don't know he's directly contributing to terrorist efforts. <laughs> he is, but you don't know it. Uh, mm. Anything else we want to add about, about Masson before the entry? Mm, not really. Not I can think of. He owns a vacuum. Like a normal adult, yeah. Yeah. Erroneous comment there. Maybe he once had a pet turtle. That makes sense. And then he sets Once it on fire. a vacuum cleaner. But since we're on Alternia, <clears throat> it's bug themed. It would, all, wouldn't all, it? All of the tech on Alternia is bugs. <laughs> it's all bugs. It's all bugs Bunny. all the way down. <coughs> Mm. He also once had yeah. a turtle, but then accidentally set it on fire. <laughs> Just to specify that it's no longer alive. That's rough. Once took in a turtle like that this, is rough. accidentally set it on fire, killing it. <laughs> He'd be stomping on Koopas. <laughs> Alright. Whom, whom's next? Hmm. Cooper. Cooper. Uh, Julian. Why not? We'll go for Julian since uh, Arthur's going to be last, <clears throat> apparently. And yeah, I feel like we need a bit more information to discuss Nemina in some way. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So. Okay. Let's start with where where does what what, what kind of area is, is Julian living in? Hidden from society. <laughs> like you know there's like buildings that it's like I didn't realise there was more to this building, but somehow there is. Hmm. TARDIS building. It's like <clears throat> you, like it's like the those like secret like areas and houses. Rude. She's just like a made like a fucking living yeah, space I've... out of that. Yeah. In the crawl space. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's like there's like a crawl space, but like it leads to like an entire like extra section of like a building that like has like several rooms that are just unused unless there's someone like squatting there. Hmm. The question is, who actually lives in the front of the house? <clears throat> is it someone we've question. met or is it is it someone we haven't met or is it one of the girlfriends? Ah fuck it, we'll have a piece of razor, why not? Hmm. Okay, does Cereza know she's there? <laughs> or is she just sort of in the walls? I've just realized Julian is literally living in the walls. <laughs> Outside of your walls. <laughs> no, legit, that's why I said it, because just I'm in your walls. your walls. You remember when you were making out with your girlfriend? <laughs> well, I've never done that. Is <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, it's the freaking okay. Hotel Mario. No. 
No. Anyway, does Cereza know that Julian is there? Is the thing. Uh, I'm just trying to decide which would be funnier. Probably funnier if she doesn't know. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with doesn't know. Me when I'm casually hiding in my friend's walls and they don't know. Girlfriend's walls? Sorry, girlfriend. Let's not forget. Girlfriend. I not will not have... God, Mason, what are you? Every historian that looks at every... Like, no, I'm sorry. I said, I said me when, like, and they're they not my incredibly girlfriends. incredibly good friends. Such good friends that they made out furiously at least once a day and several times a week would do would just fuck each other raw. You know, just really good, normal friend friends friendly. <laughs> yeah, well see, I said me when and they're not my girlfriends. Mm. Yeah, but you also don't know they exist, so <laughs> Well there we go. They're not your friends either. They are your worst <laughs> friends. <laughs> the worst friends. You do not know them. Mm, okay. You're the worst what friend ever. Of... You don't even know who I am. I'm imagining it's like bare brick as well. It's like not, it's just bare, oh, yeah. bare brick. It is well, like an unfinished part. Various construction beams that just kind of got abandoned midway through construction. Because the reason just got uh -huh. bored and was fine with the front heart, with the front part of the house and was just like, yeah, I can't be asked. I'm just not going to finish that. <laughs> It's just like the upper part of the house, so it's like split into like. It's like a crawl space that leads to the up side of the house. A climb what? space. Okay. So it's like there's two floors. I, I, I imagine, purple bloods are rich enough to have. A, purple like, bloods are rich enough to have like minor mansions. Yeah, so she started with sure. like, and then she was she looked at like the like half of the like second floor and the third floor, and she was like, I don't need it. Just see it, like seal it up, have a crawl space or some shit. I don't care. Yeah, I might finish it. I might do something with it eventually, but right now I've no need for it. We've built the outs. We built majority of this place too big for my needs, so we'll just sort of seal that bit off. It's fine. And now, and now her girlfriend. This is gonna make it, end, to her. This is gonna, this is gonna be really funny when it comes to game entry because then. Yeah, no, no, because I think I don't know if Julia if Julia enters first, Cerise is just gonna be like, "What the fuck?" As like a significant chunk of her fucking mansion just sort of boop, disappears into the aether. Oh. <laughs> the aether? The like from Minecraft. Uh, regrettably not from Minecraft, from the Ether mod for Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> I mean, hey, that that mod got an update recently, apparently. From what I heard. So it's compatible yeah, with like modern Minecraft, which I think is kind of neat. I ain't heard nothing. You ain't gonna get me to say nothing. I know nothing of this. Okay, just like, yeah, so it's very unfinished looking. Okay, so what, so what, what else, what else is there about, sorry, uh, not Cereza, Julian's daily life. We'll get to Cereza next, I guess. We'll skip over. Uh, what, what I else, mean, when she else? isn't being, when she isn't being a terrorist, uh. Yeah, when she's not performing acts of terrorism. Which change every single time because well you can't exactly completely demolish a building down to its foundations twice in quick succession you're gonna have to give time for them to fucking rebuild the place before you destroy it again yeah i imagine she is just like in the walls like trying to get by without having to leave that like space and when she does have to she like Probably, like... She, like, parkours her way up to a window to get back in. No, legit. Mm. <clears throat> it's a rusty window that doesn't close as well. So there's a constant draft in there. The window's just sort of, like, rusted she shut. 
or like rusted open yeah. and just doesn't the, the hinge doesn't move anymore. <laughs> uh-huh. Which it's advantageous for getting in, so you don't have to worry about oh the windows in a different position. Hmm, that's strange. Instead of but you do have to worry about it's fuck, it's so cold. It's so cold. I can't the sea air is just wafting in through the fucking window and it's like yeah I you always so fucking cold Julian has not had a coherent night's sleep in sweeps this is why she's like borderline insane well it's one of the reasons there are multiple reasons but it is a factor yeah she like survives off of like fucking Alternian equivalent of pot noodle and shit. <laughs> no, she she raids the raises fridge when the raises not there. Well, that too. No, those are those are her extravagant feast meals. Ceresa goes out for whatever reason, and Julian's just like, right, I can sneak into the main part of the mansion and just eat all of. I can just eat a bunch of good food out of the fridge. <laughs> just eats all the vitamin supplements off like the counter. No, she Takes does. She all steals. the Flintstone gummies. Mm -hmm. So that's drinking the shampoo. <laughs> I'm gonna say oh at one God. point, because, uh, let's say at one point she was desperate enough that she tried drinking shampoo. <laughs> I swallowed shampoo. I'm probably gonna die. It smelled like fruit. That was a lie. It's like a what's her name goes on holiday for long enough. Oh god. Well, no, if, yeah. If Cerisa goes on holiday for long enough, Julian can come and go as she fucking pleases. She can use the main entrance for once. Well, no, exactly, yeah, but it's like there's no food in the house. So Julian like, goes Julian out and raids someone else's fucking bins. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like it's just like a really bad day. Right? Yeah. There's like, like nothing a... there and they're like, they're like actually hungry and they're like, ah, fuck it. Like Cerise has gone out for a long trip to get, to get like groceries and none of the lower bloods were available to do it for her. So she just like goes. No, lower... just, like, she's on holiday and like she's on holiday and Julian's been eating all of the food out of the house and then there's no food left. And no money. <laughs> Yeah, no money in the house to go buy any, and it's like, no terrorist. It's either that, or, like... Well, like, they have like, to lie low, like, because there's been a terrorist <laughs> thing already recently, and it's like, I'm mm. so fucked for not allowing food to shampoo properly. Okay, okay, <laughs> now that we've established that Julian is living like a, a fucking raccoon... <laughs> like a fucking rat... What else is there about her life? <laughs> Generally. Uh, I mean, we've got this. And then on, on Julian's days out when she's not terroristing, she's being spoiled rotten by a pearl. <laughs> so, like, no, most of the time she's... Legit. Like, Two modes, like most... rat and regal. <laughs> Stray rat and pet rat. <laughs> Constant rat, but you know, <laughs> different connotations. One has Eternal the plague, one, ha one has a palace, the other has a plague. Uh, who's the other rat? It, it's literally no, pushed it's away. You. It's both you. Oh. <laughs> Julian like is literally both of the rats. Away. Julian is both of the rats. Inside oh of you, there God. are two rats. One has a palace, the other has the plague. Which rat wins? Uh, Which yeah, rat she probably just. To? She probably just stays inside uh, when she's not outside. Uh, Whichever one bites me. <laughs> Wait, if it bites you, that's the wrong side. That rat wins. That rat won the race. The rat race. Oh! Mm. Holy shit! When the when the race is rats, what what's racist that after? rats? <laughs> no. Do bite the hamster, please. Always bite the hamster. 
because the hand is more food. <laughs> <laughs> How far away are you from your fucking microphone, dude? Not incredibly, I've just left that. Huh. Oh, okay. It's just... You're quite quiet. Anyway, anything anything else for Julian? <clears throat> mm, nah. Alright. Down to Ceriza. If I do think of anything, I will just let you know, though. Lives in a mansion by the sea, because I'm... SpongeBob basically... SquarePants. <laughs> Doesn't even... Doesn't... It, it was it your cadence, work. and the word sea. Anyway. Uh, basically, I'm... Mason. I don't know if this Step is away from the stove. I'm, I'm half paying attention. Stop <laughs> cooking, please. Please. Do not attempt Cease to cook. and desist cooking. Do not I'm not disinterested, I'm just also playing Geometry Dash. Fair. Anyway. My heart's just playing Geometry. Hey, it got updated. After 15 June, years. June, June, I, I, yeah. I'm getting confused. June, I see <laughs> you laughing. You laughing. I, I hear you laughing. Genshin yeah. player. I'm not even playing Genshin. I know, but you are a Genshin player. What are you laughing about? Genshin player. I just mm, found it funny. Now, huh? That's all. I haven't heard of anyone playing Jumpshi Dash in ages. That's all. Well, that's fair so enough, but it, so it just so got updated, that's laugh. why I'm playing it. I'm not laughing anyway. at him, I was just... No, just I just found it not funny. allowed to laugh. Not allowed to laugh, full stop. Oh my god. Guys, playing this is what happens when, when, when comedy's illegal. Um, th this is what they want to take from you. Um, uh, anyway, Ceriza... I am being imprisoned for crimes that I did not commit. What, um, the crime of playing Genshin Impact? <laughs> crime of laughing? While being a Genshin player? Yeah. You committed that. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it, though. Anyway. Uh, mm. Anyway. Ceriza, let's get into Ceriza's life a bit. This, this one's going to be a, yeah, so... generally a kind of slow one, I think, because we're probably not really even going to get to the entry portion, and that's... When interesting things begin occurring. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're like, literally, like, the what you can put down is, is she like. I feel like Sarisa has a really not interesting life. Out because so keep, like keeps, keeps as low a profile as a purple blood can. Yeah, like she does her job. She she occasionally. Goes out for extended periods of time hmm. to undisclosed locations. Well, I mean, we should be disclosed to the locations as the writers. No, this oh, location I is mean... closed. Please disclose. I don't know, uh, the islands. Olive Garden. Hmm. <laughs> troll Olive Garden. Yeah, she troll goes to Garden. Troll Olive Garden. Troll of Garden. It's her favorite place to eat. Unlimited breadsticks. Regularly visits Troll Olive Garden. Uh, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Always suspiciously absent from clown court events. Yeah. But with believable excuses, so she didn't act, she don't get like found out unless someone actually fully goes, yeah, no, she she ain't. She ain't in. Kill her. Yeah. Kill her. Um, yeah. Anything else? Hmm. Any particular like, like how how does she interact with like Opal and and Demasa particularly? Well, clearly interact with Opal. They're kismises, aren't they? Um. So, yeah. like like, how often do they go 
Antagonist antagonistically. Well, yeah. But like, how off? How uh, off? Are they like on a, on a long distance kismisitude? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they just take snipes at each other over the internet. No, legit, they do. Um. Also, with the thing with Julian, it's like, hey, can you come over? Sure. Julian jumps out the fucking Ding window. Ding dong. No, jumps out the window, stays hidden behind the mansion for about five, ten minutes, and then comes around to the door. Nah, legit. Uh, yeah, and then I, yeah. Damasa, I think definitely just like you know, they hang out. Yeah. It's chill. Well, as chill as it can be for any interaction involving Damasa. Yeah, sometimes hangs honest. out with Damasa. Uh, and anything anything else? Mm. Uh, no, I think that's good. Hmm. I will also just quickly add. And I'm just like aware of the time and like I will probably come up with stuff later because I do, I just, I want to get to Arthur. Because <laughs> I'm fucking curious. Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I've got to go in like five minutes. So if we just bang mine out now and then I'll leave. Yep. Let's skip, skip back. Okay. Yeah, here. and then I think if if the other if the rest of you can stick around, we'll just at least finish the pre-entry stuff. Yeah. Today. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Arthur, go. Okay. Um. Uh. Right. Let's go. Early life. Hmm. Let's think. Are they the mutant blood color or are they the um normal slave uh, blood rust. color? Rust, the slave one. I guess. Born a slave. Evidently. Mm hmm. Probably. Or maybe. Or, um. So, how does it work? People are like born, their blood colour is analysed, and then they're just sent to their bit of society and made to do that. Uh, yeah, well, their uh, lust has sort of takes them there. Effectively. Let's see. I wonder why does this guy not end up being a slave then? What what kind of things could happen? So I don't want it to be just an accident. And I don't want it to be like him just breaking out and leaving there. You know. Mm. Is there an individual who Is uh, there a reason why? Is there an N error coupled with like the, the you know the very strong psychic power is there something to do with like the the way they are transported he's transported in something and he just accidentally breaks it as a child just interacting with it because he can reach hmm. the internal components because they're very very close by obviously no child should have the strength to interact with something like that but with that it's level. not the actual child's of str it's not the actual child's strength necessarily it's the just the accidental weird yeah. you know, psychic There's power thing. Bit of psy so, psionic power just sort of So yeah, be, they're something. being they're being transported there uh, in like some kind of pod thing. Uh accidentally breaks the pod, large amount of children spill out. Most of them die in the wilderness. He doesn't. Mm, he doesn't. He's found like by a uh a, a Lusus just, just living out there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, not his Lussus, like the random Lussus grizzly bear one that ends up becoming yeah. his Lussus. So it wasn't yeah, it just sort his of Lussus adopts. assigned. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You talked about Geometry Dash, and that's, that's fair my enough. favorite favorite song from it. I don't know. I'm not sure what my favorite is. I like a lot of them. I don't I like know that many of them. There's a theory of everything. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't know that many of them, so. That's fair enough. That's just one I know. There's one that everybody knows. Da, 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 oh, da. yeah, Stereo Madness. <laughs> that's the only one I know by name as well. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think the one I like is called Jumper. Yeah, that's correct. Uh -huh. It was also in Castle Crushers. Yeah, that's why Ooh. I know the name. Got that part. Okay. Yeah, Jumper Stress is good. Hmm. So. Living in the wilderness, literally living like an animal, um, kind of unable to speak, living in just like a burrow, or, well not even actually because bears don't necessarily, like hibernating, well I, I guess bears don't even hibernate on like that planet because it's not like winter is there. Well there might be but it's also like, it's not actually a bear. Technically, it's, it's, like, it, it's like an like alien. All Lusai are like the same species. They all just look wildly different for reasons. So yeah, just like living out in like the wilderness. Hell, that mm. area could be like a hunting ground for like the, the you know the higher bloods to literally give them something mm. to do. They just hunt animals, and you know yeah. he has like literally been. Hunted. I like the idea that for most of his life, Arthur is just like considered a minor cryptid. Like not like yeah, Bigfoot yeah. or Mothman, but more like more, the, more like those ones that are like, yeah, that's just like a thing we think exists like two miles that way, just outside of our small town in the middle of like yeah, the it's like USA like there there, there may be the something Grinch. out there that's like weird. Mm. But like some people are like, oh, I swear I saw it on my hunting trip. You know, I saw something dart out of the bushes and just annihilate the weird fucking bug monster I was hunting. Plum Squatch. Just flew straight past. Manatee Rex. it was that weird creature everybody talks about. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just want to quickly establish does, is Arthur considered a notable enough Lussus to be given a, a, a not that Lussus, a cryptid to be given like a cryptid name or is it just like, yeah, that thing. Arthur is now a Lussus. That. That you know the thing. Uh, I guess people would just call it. Um, uh, no, no, no. Because the thing is, people mostly just assign it to like, uh, pe like the people that are rational just are like, oh, it's just a, a combination of some strange species of beast that's very quick and very small. So you know, people are like, oh, there's just this strange species or mutant creature out there that people don't really understand properly and are assigning some fantastical element to but it's just a weird but like creature. i mean the people i mean the people who give it who have like that fantastic you know does arthur get a cryptid name of like bigfoot mothman whatever is there do, a crazy do they bother call give, the blue do devil do they give do they bother yeah okay giving yeah yeah just call it call it like uh, the blur or, or like... something because it's always like so quick it literally just that's the whole point is it's just him flying through creatures that are like like as he's going around the Oh maybe uh call it like the yeah, haze I mean, or something. I mean I let's be real. This is this we are one step away from yeah. Uh no call it like uh <sighs> Haze or something, I don't know. That's a bit of a better name. The haze. Have you seen, you've been interrupted by that would be the haze boy. You were inter you well, that does to get sound out your life. And it's like, yeah, mm. it's just like some people are like, it's the spirit of the forest come to be. Yeah, and it's no, because it's, it's just Arthur, Arthur flying around the forest. Because nobody's ever seen Arthur's face because he just sort of like bullet tra a train blitzes through things and just takes a huge chunk out of them as he goes. Yeah, and it's killed a you few people, but people are just haze. like, Bah, it's just, it's just a lot of shit, you know, it's just a... few people have been killed, it's not, but like, not enough to, for it to be... Like, it, they consider it a natural phenomenon of the planet. It's like all the little, um... Mm. Uh, places of interest in Morio during uh, part four. Where, yeah, like, it's the, just like, like in uh, the two fishermen see uh, Yukiko bounce off the rock and they're like, oh, I could have sworn I saw it. It's like, uh... yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, exactly, because like all that is happening is it's just yeah. him accidentally running through things or people. Or, in, and, or uh, intentionally running through things to get a meal and just like collateral yeah, yeah. past a few people. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Or like goes fast enough that the shockwave from him moving by causes injuries. Uh, the worship of the sun starts kind of... Uh... I like to think be, he. I, th I like to think because Ar Arthur. I like. I like to think because Arthur knows how to speak by the time we end. By the time we enter the game, but like, from the way we've talked about him, not in like, what most would consider complete coherent sentences. So I like to think he just learns, like Alternian from just like people walking through the woods, and just like. Well, picks no, I'd up imagine words. he'd learn. He'd learn it. He. He'd have just random words he'd say that he's heard people say before, and then yeah. the rest of it would be like beamed into his head by Nemina to like force yeah. him to actually be competent. Ah, uh, fair, fair, good point. And useful. Okay, so I think the worship of the sun. Oh yeah, where does I that come in? I figured that would but... probably start in like effectively like childhood, about yeah, the time so what, when I'm he's thinking it, no, no, no. I'm around asking, the time I'm when asking, he's supposed is it, to build. Is it something he gets himself? Or is it something that is passed on to him by the weird loose sister adopts him? Hmm. Also, the mantle of the weird, like, cryptid of the forest, is he picking up that mantle from the loose sister adopts him? It was that also. No, because the, the Lusus wouldn't be able to go that fast. The Lusus would just be considered, yeah, that's just a bear Lusus. It just lives there. That's the just a regular thing. The forest. Yeah. 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 Arthur, Arthur is a completely oh God, unique a entity. Bear. Yeah. Arthur okay. is a completely unique entity. So, uh, the the Lucis wouldn't Lusai, worship the sun. You are Mowgli. Hmm. Well, the Lucis could worship the sun. It, it it just wouldn't like. Do they do they it... do that sort of thing? Are they weird? Maybe. I mean, they can be. I mean, I'm pretty sure like Carcat's crab dad was like a metaphor for an alcoholic father or something. Okay. Um. I think something like that. Yeah. Well meaning. Yeah, sure. Well, okay, he picks theoretically the... well meaning, but ha theoretically well meaning, but haphazard and chaotic in method. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll yeah we'll say like yeah sure. Um, set up from the Lucis then. What the Lucis speak Alternian? I don't think they can speak Alternian, they but they can speak. seemingly communicate. Okay, so he, to... so for him normally communicate. So that's why he assumes the sun is talking to him because yeah. the grizzly talks to him with thoughts. So he's like, ah, oh, I get this. Mm. This is normal. It's, e it's either like sci it's either like a psionic communication thing, or they just sort of like, or trolls can just also speak Lusus or something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What, one way or the other. I think we'll go we'll, with... We'll say brain, yeah. brain magic. We'll go with well, so. brain magic because, you know... So when sense. Nemina starts doing it, he's... It's like, okay, oh. so he picks up the worship of the sun from the... the this is Nemina goes I think out Nemina... to... De maybe Nemina goes out to deal with it because he's like... Because some, maybe one of the people that was important to his schemes got blurred. No, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... Because this is Nemana we're talking about, I'm thinking he basically tries to pull like a Dr. Eggman and is like, I'm going to tame uh -huh. this wild natural phenomenon and use it for my scheme. Yeah, hey, alright, yeah, yeah. Because like, he know, like, regardless of how overblown the myth is, Nemana's gonna know, yeah, the haze is pretty, like, it's strong. I can use that if it, if I can make it do what I want, me, want it to do. He just do he doesn't know it's like a troll. But he's like, he doesn't yeah, know it's a I'm guy. Gonna, he doesn't know it's just a guy, like Tarzan living out in the fucking wild. But he thinks, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. And then he finds out it's a guy and he's like, oh, this is fucking piss easy. Okay. This makes it a lot easier. Uh -huh. Basically what Eggman was trying to do in the first Sonic movie. What was he trying to do? He was trying to catch Sonic and basically use him to power his machines. Mm. Yeah. Alright. 
Anything else? Hey, um... <clears throat> yeah, um... Uh, what was I? Yeah, so uh, after being found, uh, obviously the manipulation occurs like we detailed in the previous episode. Uh, a lot of that is him just kind of being manipulated into doing things for him because he, he believes, you know, it's the right thing to do. If the sun is telling me to do these things, they must be right. Mm -hmm. And it's an unquestioning... Uh, an unquestioning servitude. There's no kind of any level of a uh, insubordination or anything. It's perfect for Nina. And then up until joining the session, uh, it's kind of just goes to a place, kills the person. As I said before, Nina tries to, after like the third or fourth use of Arthur, mm. he tries to get rid of him by like doing like a bomb outfit to bomb both him and a place but then he survives and he's like oh my god what the fuck okay never mind i'll have to keep using this thing uh, there's the whole thing with Nemana almost getting killed and having to like panic summon him to the location and get him to kill those two uh, yeah. sends him in first into the session of uh, we'll get to entry. We'll get to. I think we're getting in, out of the uh, scope of this section. Okay, um, yeah. Then it's just that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this has already been detailed. It's just kind of living in the wilds. Uh, very uh, a much, very much just a victim of circumstance and things like that. Now with me, probably the prime. Right, so that is Arthur Pendra, pre-session. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we've, we've kind of done a lot of it last time, so... Yeah. I'm imagining at this point, like, what... At, at this point, what are Julian and Xander's first reactions to being teamed up with Arthur gonna be? It's just like, what the fuck? That's the haze? What? <laughs> Excuse... What? What? A ghost? The Haze is just a criminally insane man living in the woods? Mm, man. Uh, God damn. What the fuck? Well, I mean, don't, don't... Don't I end up... Or not I. Don't... Doesn't... Doesn't Arthur end up rescuing Julie? Isn't that something he said? Or is that not occurring anymore? Well, like, I would how say does that rescuing, occur? kidnapping. No, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, just literally, like, dragging them out of slave camp and just being like mm. oh you're like me Rah. for real for real grabbed for real, by real. like the face what? <laughs> you're like me grabbed by the face and runs backwards <laughs> and, then, uh, and then with Xander, Xander, was, uh, with Xander, Xander was picked up for the terrorist cell on like it was camp. on a mission so Xander, is, during the mission, it's like, what the fuck? Is that the fucking haze? Why is there haze in a mor- You know what? I... Uh... <laughs> and Xander's just like, well, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna get my- I'm... Well, no, Xander didn't take the kids anyway, because the kids would immediately be killed because they are, uh, failures. And also him looking after those kids would be considered him being a failure, and thus all of them would be killed. So Xander just pretends the kids mm -hmm. don't exist. But he's just like, oh, you're... Oh, shit, they're destroying this place. Hey, can I join in? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna... Peace out. All right. All right. Uh... We All right. shall see, ya. see, see you soon. around. But we shall, the rest of us, continue with this section. Just a... Round it out. Yeah. Cute. All right. Uh, I will be back in a second again. <laughs> I fair. Guess we're going for Xander next. Hi. Are you sick and tired of your avocados always rolling off your counter? Get yourself an avocado what for today. Fuck? No, I'm not going anywhere. I walk back to that. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
the avocado staple. What the are you yapping on? Okay, I'm rolling a D1000 to determine how many wigglers there are. Uh, okay. 629. <laughs> nice. Nice, but with a two in it. Oh my god, I keep fucking it takes seeing two to this fucking nine. picture. What the what the what the fuck is this? What is the that fuck has been hotel is... but undertale? I am going to throw myself into the sea. Literally, the the text that accompanies it is "Get to Snow Ding." <laughs> Those fuck ass skeleton brothers. What the fuck? What the fuck? Don't man? ask me. I don't know. I don't know either. That's why I asked. Anyway. I can't say that I know either. Uh, anyway, yeah. I we don't got... watch. Nah. I guess we'll do Neiman at last. June. Yeah, alright. Okay, Opal. Opal. She is... Probably spending money at, at, on the daily. Like, she, she has the money. She will. She will spend it. Okay. Where? 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 Where's? Where, where's Opal live? Probably some fucking like. Like in a whole ass castle. A high rise, like some kind of like multi, like eleven, like you know how like Jade's house is like that massive fucking like tower. Yeah. Kind of like that. That type beat. Okay. Um, yeah. It's also probably going to be either underwater on like some a bat or on some like small island as well. Oh, it's on a small jade. island for Defo. Hmm. Um. I imagine, she, like, she makes trips out to see Julian. Hmm. Um. And a yeah. as well. A and a yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I but forgot. Keeps her, I forgot. But keeps her. But keeps her. I long but keeps her. Sorry, is at, at an arm's length to continue that long distance kiss me, sis, dude. Yeah. They are on opposite sides of the street. Mm. Um. I guess probably if she's not doing that she's probably doing some other like random rich person things I don't know what rich people do I'm not rich throw money at their problems yeah Overall, she she just does lavish shit, I imagine. That's like most of her day is be lavish, be cunty. Yeah. That's all that's really needed to, to be said. Uh, okay. Any, anything else we want to add? Or. Nah, but I have shit for Demasa. Okay, I will just add also. Demasa time. Mm. 
Damasa follows an entire, like, itinerary. Like, she has planned out her day in the last hour of the previous day. Ah, autism. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! She's, yeah. she's, an, she's an organized autistic. Yeah, as opposed to... us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will uh, say, if I do have a schedule, I do follow it to, mostly to I a I mean, team. true. I, I keep a schedule for, like, yeah. uh, when things are getting busy in terms of recordings and editing and all that, just so that I know, no, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. Mm. I, I, I have to check what lessons I have if I decide that I cannot be bothered to go to one. Like, I, I have to make informed decisions on whether I skip class. <laughs> Which is not often. I don't skip out class that often, I will, I will hmm. say. It was mainly last yeah, year. I've just, I've just added also gets very annoyed if someone forces her to change that schedule. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Just um, Julian, Julian fully is just like, what you doing? What are you doing in my, labo in my laboratory? <laughs> it is some Dexter's laboratory some Dexter's shit. lab type shit. Yeah. Uh. Um... I feel like... Like, she even has to, like, put in, like, a, like, thing, like, you sleep now, you don't wake up till here. If you do, you, you are allowed to be annoyed at yourself. Mm. Yeah. So I'll just quickly... Um, but, like, most of the int itinerary includes, like, weapons testing, killing people, weapons- more weapons testing, more killing people. So what you mean um, is weapons testing, weapons testing, weapons testing, and weapons testing? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, sorry. Weapons building, weapons testing. Weapons building, weapons testing. Like, it's literally just- Work, work, work. She doesn't really give herself a break. I'm putting dueling quotation marks here for a variety of reasons. Hmm. One? Yeah. Because most of the duel. time it's not a duel. Uh, most of the time it's not a duel. It's more of a surprise attack. I'm definitely not going to kill you with this gun that kills people. Uh, and also quotation mm. marks around duel because uh, they be hate fucking. They be hate fucking. That's part of what dueling is here. Yeah, That's I feel like she wears white is. gloves. Mm. Like the Gendo Akari, like white gloves. Yeah, wears white gloves when she's trying to be like more official with things, I guess. In the lab, most of the time, nah, nah. Got to keep them white, you know. Can't really keep yeah. the gloves white if you're constantly working with fire and ash and uh, evaporated troll. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that that should be it for mm. the massa. Okay, let, let's just quickly also establish where does she live? What's her what's her just general living? Situation? Oh shit! I forgot. I forgot. Um. Yeah. Abandoned lab because it was radioactive or like the tr troll radioactive. I don't know if the <laughs> trolls. Oh my god, Jesus! <laughs> Wrong kind of duel word. Wrong kind of duel. All right, Nemana time, and then we'll do some general points, and then uh, that'll be that oh, okay. for this for this primer episode of this of this new right. stretch. Nice. Okay, Nemana, Nemana. Let's uh, be. He's gotta be evil. He w wakes up. Be evil. 
<laughs> goes to sleep. <laughs> okay, that's the wrong fucking font size. Right, so we've got that. Anything else that we can think of? Because, mm. like, he's evil, but he's not, like, an actual, like, mustache twirling cartoon villain. Ah. Oh. He has a roommate. <laughs> Who is the roommate? <laughs> I don't know. His name is, like,. Jeff. I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff with four Fs. <laughs> there we go. Named Jeff. We say oh, Jeff? he's like the hey, hey, Nemo, now what you doing? How are you doing? Hey, like, Neemano, what I'm you sorry, got there? I was like... A smoothie. And Neemano's hey, like... Neemano, what you, hey, Neemano, what you got there? Okay, okay. I've got two ideas for this. Either Why does he speak with some a, doll? A, I don't no, either know. Either A, either A, Jeff has to be, like, a royal blood, or B, Jeff is, like, a land dweller who's just wearing, like, a fishbowl on his head or some shit. Like, classic fishbowl fish on his head. Bowl. Okay, right. Some what? sandy, it's some sandy shit. Jeff dies, by the way. <laughs> you have an uncle. I know what his name is. He dies. I feel like Jeff dies uh, at like, Nemuna just like pushes him like into the path of a fucking meteor or some shit. Like, finally, I'm rid of Jeff. Finally, I can stop hiding all this shit from fucking Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> okay, now, nah, okay. Two possibilities. One, Jeff dies during entry. Two, before, a little before entry, Jeff finds out about all of the plotting and shit, and even it just takes the fucking fishbowl off. It, legit. Real. Real. <laughs> okay. And there's Nemina. And his roommate, Jeff. With four Fs. So, any other general points we want to add about the about, uh, the, about life pre pre entry? I've got one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. So that does that mean that Massa knows about Julian's conference? <laughs> Bro's done his research. Do, do yes! Want... Yeah, bro's done his research. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll just add... <laughs> and yeah. and, Ma and Ma <laughs> Massa knows so even though Santa doesn't. What? what? Massa knows about the girlfriends even though Xander doesn't. Yeah. That's funny. I don't care who you are, they funny. me. He's like... Well, don't worry, I've been keeping secrets as well. Did you know your friend has girlfriends? Did you know the doctor's moustache is fake? Can't believe that. Alright, any other, any other general points? We're doing the prologue today, I guess, effectively. 
Outside of the ones previously stated, Julian to her girlfriends and uh, Xander to his uh, mate Masson, um, are there any, like, strong bonds at the start of all this, or or do they just kind of hate each other a little bit? Mm. Mm. Mm, I can't or, like, anything. neutral. Yeah, Actually, probably a li- neutral. A little bit of hatred is basically neutral when it comes to trolls. Just yeah. a hint of, I wish you died. <laughs> hey, why don't you, you know. You should. <laughs> and you know the rest. Right. Yeah. Well, I guess that's, I'll just add a, I'll just add a page break here to clean things up slightly. And that, I guess, will be that for today's episode of Homestuck Halves. Join us next time. Perfect. For the God, I'm, I don't know why I'm... When we can perform just, actual mm. interesting actions. Things can occur. Nice. Mm. My, Hell yeah. My goodness. Mm. Uh, but yes... Uh, what do we think of this? What do we what do, what do we think of how things have started off? I'm intrigued. I'm enthralled. Mm. Yeah, you? certainly going places. Well, it's not going places yet. We, we this is the start. It will point. certainly go places. It will. It is preparing to go places. Yeah, that. Uh, fuck it. I'm indeed. tired. Okay, I. The don't key know is why. in the car. This is just, I, this real I didn't warn me out. I didn't get a lot of sleep either, honestly, and I also didn't get breakfast. Um, my bad. But yes, uh, if you, the audience, like this video, hit that like button. Uh, if you very much like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button. We upload episodes of Reading Homestuck every Monday or Tuesday, depending on your time zone, and we upload other things, such as this, every Thursday or Friday again depending on your time zone. Um, There will be more of this to come in the future. Hopefully it won't be as big a gap as last time, because holy fucking shit. Holy shit, we have forgotten almost everything. Well, we haven't forgotten, but it's very much like a... We're very much not... We haven't gotten back in the zone yet. The zone has not yet been reattained. Um... But yes, um, you can also follow me on Tumblr, where uh, where after this video goes up, I will be uploading the sprites for Mass and Mass and, uh, as well as Cereza, Damasa, and Opal. Um, so you can see them there. Additional sprites will be coming along the way because there are many alternate versions of different characters that I want to show you. But I can't yet, because we haven't gotten to those points in the story. So, yeah. That's something else to look forward to. Um, God, we really also... are just writing our own OC fanfic. I well, we, yeah, that is, that is the premise. That is the premise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can also follow June on Tumblr and Instagram, June. Yeah, you can follow me. I promise I'm gonna work on something for Instagram eventually. Mm. I literally yeah. realized that today that I really should do the Pomodoro method for my photo editing. Because I don't do that, which is probably why I've kept putting it off. It's because I know that I will... I will not give myself a break and I'll hate myself. Um... Yeah, I have. You can follow me on Tumblr. Indeed. It's mainly gay, gay shit. She, That's she does reblog a lot of gay End shit. End of yeah. And you can also follow. If you're Arthur... looking out, there'll probably be some gay shit. There may well be. You can also follow Arthur on Twitch. The issue there being that since this is being recorded multiple weeks in advance, you 
none of us know when Arthur's going to be uh, streaming. Check the Monday episode. Check the Monday episode from this week for that. Unless you already miss missed it, in which case, check the next Monday episode for that. Uh, and Mason, do you want to say anything uh. to round us out? Uh, I don't personally have anything to promote, but by this point, the uh, the the Sonic Tailor should be out, right? No, no pressure. It, oh, it certainly should be. Yes. Go check that out, and Go check that if you out. have any time afterwards, check out everybody else's stuff. But do actually do that first, then watch. Well, just do it. Do yes. it all. Do it all. Do do all of these things. Do all of these things. You have Go many days. You have many days to do this. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Later. See ya. Bye-bye. Okay.